What's up, everybody? Happy new release day, guys. It is 2021 Panini Black Football release day. This is a six-box half-case break. Pick your teams number one. And remember, guys, number one and two are from the same case. Highly anticipated black football, guys. It looks so much more nicer than in uh, years past. Uh, looks like, like I said, some of the cards have a little acetate feel on the top. Uh, most of these cards are going to be on card, it looks like. Or they actually have on card. I feel like they were all stickers last year. Uh, and it looks very nice, guys. So I'm really excited. Remember, number one and two are from the same case. You get one rookie patch autograph, one additional autograph, one memorabilia card, and one parallel and base card per box. So a big thanks to all of these folks here that got spots in the break. And it looks like David Duffy got last spot Mojo Seahawks. We have two left in the next case, guys. Just a little, or next break, I should say, a little FYI. Remember, I think there was only two teams remaining. And again, such little tiny boxes. They be packing heat, guys. They be packing heat. So again, here will be six boxes over here, and then these six will group up together. Right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see if I can get a good dice roll. I'm not really a good uh, die roller, but let's see if I can hit it off this box. Oh, I did. Cool. Three. <laughs> One, two, three. These would be for the second half. Such a large uh, bounty for such a small package. All right, first card, the base cards look so sharp. Wow. Aaron Donald, that's not even numbered, but still very nice. Justin Fields, futuristic patch. Nice little jersey right there. 17 out of 99 to start us off. That looks amazing. I can see why this product is already jumping up in price. Chicago Bears going to Steve Wright. George Kittle? Wow, look at that. Little jersey and autograph. That is three out of, or sorry, eight out of ten for the 49ers. I don't really see George Kittle sign too much. Yeah, eight out of ten. Alfonso with the 49ers. I don't know if the bottom has a base. Yeah, the bottom has a base. Josh Palmer. The 35. And Anthony Schwartz. Little patch autograph. One out of 25 for the uh, Cleveland Browns. One, two, three color patch. That's nice. Browns going to Glenn. Very nice. Solid first box. Uh, Patriots and Bucks, it looks like. Patriots and Bucks. At least that's what it shows on my page. Chase Young to 75. AJ Brown. 
non numbered base. Kadarius Tony Relic, 101 out of 125 for the G Men. Wow. I haven't seen one of these in a very, very long time. But this is 2,500 Panini points. That's pretty much enough to get you one of those Sparkle packs. Any packs that they sell there exclusively on the Panini Rewards website. Dang. So there you go. Um, that'll be randomized to the group of customers. Uh, 2,500 points. Good lord, that's a lot. I think most people sell like 250 for like five bucks, 250 to 10, 10 to five dollars, depending on what's dropping on the Panini website. So actually, this is actually worth a pretty penny. And got a patch autograph. Amir Smith Marsetti for the Vikings. 73 out of 99. Pat Wolf with the Minnesota Vikings. Kelvin Johnson. Joel Tryon for the Bucks. Another Kadarius Tony. This time it's a patch. Twenty out of twenty-five. Two-color patch. Chris Godwin, 9 out of 35. Tampa Bay Buccaneers going to Brandon. Brady Hunton, but he got one of his better receivers. And Josh Palmer. That is 53 out of 99. For the charges. Jin with that one. Alright, we're halfway through, guys. Next one. It pretty much is black gold. I mean, I think that's why they got rid of it and brought black football back, basically. I mean, it's, it's kind of similar. At least the RPAs are similar for sure. The sizable signatures, that's basically what it was. Nick Chubb. DJ Chark, Jr. for the Jags. Jamar Chase Relic, rookie influx, 125. Micah Parsons for the Cowboys to 199. Cowboys, that's going to uh, David Duffy. Rondale Moore, a little jersey autograph to 99. Arizona Cardinals, it's going to Ryan. Alrighty. Second to last box. Remember, guys, the second half is in the store, guys. Down to two left, and I'm pretty sure I've got a few orders in, and it could be sold out already. So, 
Keep it going, guys. Four out of five drew lock. On the hit packs, you were doing whatever number they buy is what pack they get? Yeah. yeah. So you. if you did, yeah, like one through 50. Just tell Sean to remember that. What's that? Just tell Sean to remember that. Yeah. yeah. That way he knows. It's easier that way, actually. Devonta Smith. Zach Wilson relic for the Jets, Jets, Jets. David. Quitty Pay. Indianapolis Colts going to Jeremy Murrow. And Cornell Powell, four out of five with a Nike swoosh. Very nice. You know what's crazy about this uh, black? I'm not going to say there isn't any damaged corners, because I'm sure there will be, but it looks much better quality than most years. I, I remember black being very rough on the corners. Nike swoosh, Cornell Powell. Four out of five for the Kansas City Chiefs, going to Josh Nelson. Yeah, I still do that. I mean, I guess you don't have to, but um, I guess you don't. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> you got one buck, though, Brandon. better than nothing but hey there could be a nice Mac Jones hiding in here I know you want Brady though but I think what you really should be chasing for is Mac Jones maybe Brady for the for the Bucks though I don't know if he's also in the Patriots though so. is he JJ Watt all right good luck guys Jamar Chase relic to 99 Patrick Sertain to 50 for the Broncos. Jessica with that one. Okay. Little relic there. And last one, guys. Good luck. Wow, another Cornell Powell. 22 out of 99. And that second half might be nuts. Nice break there for the Chiefs. Back to back. A Nike swoosh and a patch autograph. Alrighty, guys. Well, there you go. Hey, the one thing about this, guys, it is a half case break. So if you were able to get both teams on both halves, I think that's the way to go. But, again, also there is only about six, seven cards per box. So there was going to be some teams that were going to go hitless. Uh, but, yeah, I got to feel like the second half is going to be pretty fire. Again, you still have a chance at this 2,500 points, though, guys. You know, so that's, that's a lot of points. We'll be giving that away. And, uh... Like I said, no huge monsters. Rookie of a nice George Kittle, though. Is he really? Well, that sucks. But, hey, it's still a hit, though. Someone could pick him up. So let's give away that uh, 2,500 points. Uh, so let's switch scenes. Uh, I'm sorry, Katie. I know, I seen you had the Falcons there. I was like, ooh, a nice little Kyle Pitts would be nice, but... I don't know if you have them in the second half. Hopefully, hopefully there is some if you do have them. All right, so I'm going to get the customer names and just uh, copy and paste them. No, I know that 2,500 points is a lot. Like, don't 250 points go for like five, ten dollars So, it's actually not a bad hit at all. But, obviously, I wish it was like a bigger autograph or a patch autograph, potentially. I thought it was like 10 points to the dollar right now. 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So 2,500 points is a lot. Yeah. Especially when they drop all those packs. So yeah. Oh, Joe P saying 250 points go for more than five to ten dollars. There you go. It just depends also what they drop. Like they just drop Spargo packs, they just drop, you know, all those cosmic packs. Those should people just buy up points. So for that for that reason I think I'm okay with certain points being given out. Because you can save them up and use use them for those packs. Because those cards sell really well. Alright, good luck everybody. Roll the dice. Six and a two, eight times, good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Boom, eight times. Ethan Cook, congratulations, man. I don't know if I even called your name today, Ethan. You had the Tennessee Titans. I don't think I did, but there you go. 2,500 points coming your way, man. So, appreciate it, guys. Remember, the next one is already uh, down to two left. No Seahawks or Raiders hits that I can recall. So, I would expect that this next one to be done. And there you go. Raiders already are the last team. So, let's keep it going, guys. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.